Hello guys, and today I will be doing a video on my fly tying table. So, let's get started. So first, we have, I labeled these bin things. Well, this is when I first started, so it's not really that good. And so I have a bunch of tools in there, but all the tools that I use are on the desk. And then, in here I have a whole bunch of feathers and materials like that. And then in here are bucktails, but not really because I have the bucktails right here. Well, two of them. And then over here I have ice or uh, dubbing. And then in this one here I keep my hooks, which are the Gamagatsu Saltwater Series size so one hooks. And then I keep a little smaller hooks. And, um, then in this bottom drawer here, I just keep, like, it's basically garbage, but if I pull something out of the package I can't get, then get back in the package, I'll put it in there, and it's kind of a, like, a garbage. And then... Um, some materials are in this. Well, actually, a bunch of them on there. And, um, we spray painted the table black. Here's my vice. There's the hook. And then we have this twister thing. Scissors. And this bit needs nice because it had holes in it. Extra bobbin. Bobbin that I use most of the time. And a wet finisher. And then I have more than one of those tools. If I ever needed three bobbins, I made this one. It looks kind of sloppy, but you'll poke the thread holes into this and then bend it. And it's a bobbin. And then I have no idea what these things are, but they came with my vise. There's two of them like this. Then this thing, I just use... Um, um, I use monofilament fishing line, and I made a threader. So when you want to go put your new thread in here, you put that to the um, the tube. You put the thread in, and then you pull out, and the thread comes out. And then this is a bunch of other stuff. I have another pack of the Gamagatsu Saltwater Series size 1 hook. Um, actually, the thread, the thread that I usually use right here, there, there, and there. Don't show them all when I can see the colors. And this here is Well, it's the right bobbin, and it's, um, ultra thread, 140 diameter, or dynear, di di and it's in red color. Red is, I seem to find, is the best color of thread to use. And, um, is that it? And then... Actually, well, here's red bucktail. That that fell off of that. More red, black and yellow. And this, these feather things, and whatever that is. And then actually, I'll show you the stuff I just got yesterday. I got this here. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, Tyler got this. Thing from his kit, and then he got that. Well, that kit's actually from Grace Grandpa, but anyways, um... And then that blue kit that he showed you, the blue box, which is over there, you probably can't see it. Um, that was the one that we got from a family member. And then, um, this was a bucktail I got yesterday. It's a, buck, a large bucktail on chartreuse color. I got that yesterday. And then I also got... 
And I always keep the packaging to what I get because, and I always keep the receipts in that because if I ever want to buy another one of that, I don't have to go looking for it. And then this is Ice Dub and Peacock color that I got yesterday. Ice Dub and Olive color and Ice Dub and Shark Juice color. And I keep those over there. Um, pop. This light is, I don't know if a zebra print or something. It, it was so at our grandma's house, so when she used to live here, we got this from her bedroom. You mean when our mom used to live here? Yeah, when our mom used to live here. Um, so we got this from her bedroom yesterday, and they just plugged it into the outlet. And um, by, behind the, the, outlet, the outlet's right below me. Right and um, this light, the reason why I use it is just because it lights up. Because at night? At night, when it's high flies, it lights up like the whole table space. And then before I had this like rocket ship lamp. Thing that like it was it? looks like a tornado when you when it started and it didn't light up anything. Oh, I think it's over there and the thingy. Yeah, and um, I will show you how to lip finish right now. I Um, so I'll do that in a separate video, but for right now, guys, this is it, and bye. Bye.